orphaned brothers Sam and Nathan Drake are caught trying to steal a map made after the Magellan expedition from a Boston museum. After their orphanage kicks him out because of his third strike, Sam sneaks out to be on his own but promises Nate he'll return, and leaves him a ring belonging to their ancestor Sir Francis Drake. Fifteen years later, Nate works as a bartender in New York City and pickpockets wealthy patrons. Victor Sully Sullivan, a fortune hunter who worked with Sam tracking treasure hidden by the Magellan crew, explains to Nate that Sam vanished after helping him steal Juan Sebastian Alcano's diary. Nate, having stopped receiving postcards from Sam, agrees to help Sully find him. Sully and Nate go to an auction to steal a golden cross linked to the Magellan crew, where they meet Santiago Moncada, the last descendant of the Moncada family, and Joe Braddock, leader of Moncada's mercenary. Nate is ambushed by Braddock's men, and the ensuing fight creates a distraction for Sully to steal the cross. The duo travel to Barcelona, where the treasure is supposedly hidden, and rendezvous with Sully's contact Chloe Fraser, who has another cross. Meanwhile, Moncada, learning from his father that their family fortune could be donated, orders Braddock to kill his father, so that he will inherit the money instead. Nate, Chloe, and Sully follow clues in Elcano's diary to Santa Maria del Pai, finding a secret crypt behind the altar. Nate and Chloe enter, finding a trapdoor, but as they open it, the crypt floods with water. Sully helps them escape after subduing an ambush by Braddock. Using the two crosses to unlock a secret passage, Nate and Chloe find a map showing the treasure is in the Philippines. Chloe betrays Nate and leaves to take them. Sully recovers Nate and says after he and Sam recovered Alcano's diary, they were ambushed by Braddock. Sam was shot, and Sully narrowly escaped. Moncada, Chloe, and Braddock's team depart in a cargo plane to find the treasure, but Braddock betrays and kills Moncada, gaining control of the operation. Nate and Sully board the plane and Nate confronts Braddock. Chloe, who was hiding from Braddock, is found and a battle ensues. Sully parachutes out with the map, while Nate and Chloe are ejected from the plane landing in the Philippines, where they realize the map does not pinpoint the treasure. Nate discovers the treasure's true location through hints left by Sam's postcards but leaves fake coordinates for Chloe after correctly doubting her loyalty. He discovers the Magellan ships and reunites with Sully. Braddock follows them, forcing Nate and Sully to hide as her crew airlift the ships. In their escape, Sully commandeers one of the helicopters, and Braddock orders another helicopter to approach for a boarding action. Nate defends himself from her mercenaries and local Filipino militia and shoots down the other helicopter with one of the ship's cannons. Braddock drops the ship's anchor while Nate climbs to the helicopter. Sully throws a bag of collected treasure at Braddock, saving Nate. Braddock falls into the sea and is killed when the ship falls on her. As Philippine naval units arrive, Nate and Sully get away with a few pieces of pickpocketed treasure while Chloe is left empty-handed as she follows the duo. Meanwhile, an imprisoned Sam writes another postcard to Nate. Nate meets with a man working for Roman, offering his ring for a Nazi map he has. He tries to betray Nate, but Sully saves him. They escape but are caught by an unseen figure. 